Hello and welcome to the European Diversity Awards 2015. We're here at the Natural History Museum in London and tonight we'll pay tribute to the corporations from around Europe who have stood up and championed diversity and equality in the workplace. We'll take you down the red carpet and later we'll meet some of the winners backstage. I think it's really important for people in the public eye to come forward. It sends a message out to the public that um, you know this sort of thing matters. Events like this is being a big part of changing opinions through uh, businesses and through individuals. It's 20 years ago, it was a very different place, and the things that have been achieved in such a short period of time. But the most important thing is the future. You can treat me like you want to. I'm crawling back to you You say Welcome to the fifth annual European Diversity Awards. Over the years, we have had some fantastic winners, and I'm sure tonight's winners will be of the same caliber. You said you got me the We Connect International Supplier Diversity Award of the Year is US Embassy, Portugal. Most Inclusive Employer of the Year is PwC. We really believe that difference is something that we all have in common. So this really means something to us because diversity is in our blood. The Barclays Campaigner of the Year is Jack Monroe, Poverty Campaigner. And we're all here tonight because we believe in equality and we believe in a better world for each other. Just keep going, keep fighting, keep doing what you believe in. Thank you. The Herbert Smith Freehills Journalist of the Year is Owen Jones, weekly columnist for The Guardian. It's not about P.P. Besson looking, Macaulay Culkin lookalikes like myself who change things, it's people who fight. Winner of the Global Diversity Award is Tiffany R. Warren. Until those on the fringes of society are made to feel at the center, there will always be a need for diversity champions and awards. You do not need to put on a superhero costume to change the world for the better. You do so by being yourselves. On Claire's behalf, thank you. When Claire first worked in the BBC Radio Newsroom, it was completely white and male dominant. She had this philosophy of equality of opportunity, so once she was given the chance to put that into practice, she grabbed it. We are very proud to actually sponsor this award mm -hmm. because as a company, as a business, the diversity is essential. Tonight is, is really not about Société Générale, it's about celebrating diversity, ensuring that people can really achieve their ambitions. Thank you for being a part of this very special evening and we look forward to welcoming you at the European Diversity Awards 2016.